Let's see. There we go. Hey, well, hello, my friends. I couldn't think of a better way to give you an update than to go live. Today has been an absolutely amazing day. I got to speak with some, just some of the greatest minds in the, um, on the um, planet. And just to, be, just to be allowed in a conversation like that, it really took me away. And, and I got to tell you, um, I was really nervous about the presentation. I was. They cried. Um, I won't name drop or anything like that. I'll, I'll just tell you this. Um, it, 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 it was moving. And I think I'm going to one of you guys, every single one of you, because um, you saw this vision. You, you really did. And you saw so many aspects of it that I honestly just did not see. I honestly did not see. And I thank you so much for that. I thank you so much for sharing your concerns, for sharing your concerns, for sharing your tips and your because there's always so much that all of us can learn about this. I just, you know, um, just, just, wow, you know, you know, it, it, being a kid from the ghetto, one of the things I always wanted to do was highlight my mom and, you know, because, um, she, dude, she really is my best friend. She, she really is. She's my go-to for everything. If you guys are still lucky enough to have your moms in your lives, please love them, appreciate them, cherish them, hold them near. If you have a wife and you're married, if you have, you know, just love the partner that you have in your life and this isn't an advice thing or anything like that but my mom was included i included my mom's picture in that presentation and here's what's so super cool about that um she's going in a medical journal like today's presentation goes into a medical journal it's so much bigger than everything that we're doing here at our gardens a big head that you can actually see in that screen but um this is that cabbage that we picked just the other day and i actually wanted to show because um let's see yep that's how big the span of the um, bottom leaves were. And these weren't actually all the bottom leaves on the cabbage because you see some of those were already removed. But I pulled this up because I have some leafy greens in the house that we already started. And I want to add them to this garden. In order to do that, you have to make room. Now, you can actually see really good here how from here in here, you know, actually, yeah, you can see it right there. I don't know if you can see that little pink thing. That's actually the sprout in one here of where the new two heads of smaller cabbage were starting to grow from. So yes, um, I also noticed on social media yesterday, someone had asked them, um, they actually said the statement and they said it definitively that no, if you chop off the head of cabbage, you won't grow smaller ones. If you guys notice, I don't speak in definitives because everyone knows it all until you don't know anything. Isn't it great to start off just like, hey, everything's new to me, it's time to learn something. And that's what I do every single day that I wake up. It's time to learn something. So. Actually, I can actually, yeah, I'll remove these. And these don't get wasted. My wife made these incredible cabbage wraps the other day. Let me see if we can get um, a closer view in there. Actually, I'm sorry about that. Technical difficult. I'm not sure why my camera does this while I'm over in this spot. There we go. So we actually have some smaller heads of cabbage back here. So I said, I'm just gonna remove this one out the way, give these ones a little more room to breathe and see what they're going to produce for us. As I was saying before the camera knocked off, um, my wife uses the outer, the tougher leaves for um, cabbage rolls and cabbage, part of me, cabbage rolls and things of that nature. Well, look at how beautiful the stems are and the bases are on these plants. Even with the I call them the veins, I know that's not what they're called, but even, but just look at this. This is a beautiful example of what you can do in a limited amount of space in the comfort of your own home. There's no reason that you can't do it. Here's those asparagus that we started, and for those who have been following the channel, if not, please go through and look at the older videos. Remember, these all started from seed. So now the asparagus have been trained, so I don't have any of the huge, long asparagus leaves anymore. I can just easily pick leaves like this for my asparagus. Chop this, take the little stem part off, throw this, rinse this, throw this right in my salad. And this is the tenderest part, the most tender part of this plant. It's not the outer leaves, it's these ones inside.
I'm still with you guys. We're gonna go over here. There we go. There we go. I'm so glad you guys are still with me. Remember this cabbage? This is the one in the second or last video. I think it might have been. But um, this is the one that was actually transferred from down here. I think I got that unlocked. Yeah, I do. Yes, from the guys. Like I said, the um, connection keeps getting cut off here in the yard. But this is originally where, originally where the cabbage plant was at. Color green plant. And you guys are the colors of the plant. I don't add anything extra to this. Do this, man. It's not even that you can do it. I'm encouraging you to do it because not only can you feed your family, not only is it healthier for you, but you can actually produce enough to where you could profit from it. Let's take a look at this tray right here. Now, this is our um, standard hydroponic grow system. I don't know if you guys remember, but I explained to you before, um, we don't add anything to this. The only scientific methods or theories that we're applying to this is that we utilize the UV light on the inside in order to keep the tray clean and to keep the nutrient solution and the water clean. I don't know if you guys can see, but that's a pretty clean tray right there. But look at this cabbage, look at this cabbage, look at this cabbage. These are the same age as those two cabbages that I showed you up there. Now, because this is aquaponics up there, and because we do utilize the red LED lights at night, that propagates that growth that you see in those plants up there. The hydroponics, the horizontal hydroponics rig that we have in the back, it utilizes the same principle, but it's powered by a hydroelectric motor. Please go back through the videos and you'll see it there, guys. It's powered by a hydroelectric, we use a hydroelectric motor that's powered by the movement, the upflow of the water into the system that powers the LED lights that are all around um, the edge of that system over there. And we're going to take a look at that hydroponic system in a second, so please bear with me, my friends. Let's go. Damn it. Pardon me, but take a look at this one. This is a full-size head of cabbage growing out of a little inch port like this in this system. So yeah, you can grow, grow giant vegetables in a system like this, but the idea is why would you want to? It's not enough room, you know? Let's take a look at our fish real quick. Guys, I am going to do a little bit of straightening up out here, but I really did want to go live just to thank every single one of you from the bottom of my heart. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for participating on the um, channel. We've got so much more in store for you. Um, I will be published in a couple of medical journals. Yeah, and uh, basic design for our aquaponics and our hydroponic systems. They are going to be written down. Um, we're going to um, write them down and they're going, I said write them down. Pardon me, I'm still overwhelmed. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> Um, we are going to work out the technical details and these systems are going to be duplicated all over the world in some of the most impoverished countries in the world. Today is just the beginning of another start, of another day. Thank you guys for hanging out. Bless every single one of you. I hope you're healthy. I hope you're safe. I hope you have a great day. Plant that first seed and together we grow. Peace and blessings, my friends. Peace. Yeah, as you can see, I don't know how to turn this off, but I just saw the X in a quarter. So now I'm going to act like I know what I'm doing. I'm going to do a break dance wave. <laughs>